G from downtown saves Mark Cavendish season, maybe even his career with this lead out in the Jira. Now remember, Cav moved to Astana, Kazakhstan, surprise move, zero competent lead out on Astana. In the tour, for example, he was eating wind for days moving up, but he looked pretty sharp. But like this is where he was starting sprints from. And he was still sprinting to decent competitive positions despite no last man at all. And frankly, no one really to help him in the last three kilometers. And that was a problem in the Giro as well. But even so, in the Tour de France, he's, he, sometimes he was helped into okay position by Case Bowl or Luis Leon Sanchez in the Giro. He he really, I don't know if he would have won this stage. I think it's tricky to say that because Philipson probably still gets onto his wheel. It's tough to know how much momentum he lost with that speed bump, with him misshifting or his gears playing up, having to sit down, and then Philipson can come out. of You know, he lost momentum there. It's tough to say, but in the Tour, he looked good as well. But still, no win in the Tour de France, and he crashed out. His season was really mostly saved and maybe that's why Astana decided to give him another another year or two in the Giro stage 21 the procession stage that Jumbo Visma uh, they obviously won the tour the day before on the Monte Lusara. but Ineos had Thomas in second on GC they decided why change what we've been doing for two weeks let's just ride at the front uh, anyway and Cal was in good position six wheel he's got two Astana teammates behind him it's not been a difficult stage a lot of the sprinters and teams are on their knees or tired at this point, or like Pedersen's gone home, for example. And But you can see already, now he's only got one teammate behind him, and the other two Astana riders are losing positions. And so in the Giro, they really struggled to put him in good position, even though you'll see in this sprint, he had a pretty clean pair of heels, and the sprinting competition wasn't as good as the Tour de France. So three Ks to go. Safety, quote-unquote safety for Thomas Cavs, pretty much on his own, near Bahrain, wanting to move up. And this is what you maybe don't see when you're wondering, why wasn't he competitive in these sprints? He's faster than a lot of these guys. If you're doing this effort here, if you're having to move up yourself repeatedly, you get washed over, you move up again. You get washed over, you move up again in the last three, four kilometers. If you're not the best sprinter in the world, like Philipson, who's unbelievable, that can, and this happened to Groenewegen a lot this year, that can just, that deadens your legs, and then you end up not having a sprint. So he needs a savior, and that comes in the form of Geraint Thomas. Sitting in second G on GC, as I said, he decides, why not help my friend Mark Cavendish out? He moves in front, or he starts sprinting up here, and he knows if he crashes, he still gets second on GC anyway. He looks over at Louis Leon, don't know how much English he speaks, and says the universal head flick, which means get on my wheel, that's understood in all languages, and Cav's there, and you see Gaviria's train gets melted by Cav uh, by Geraint Thomas' lead out. And you might be thinking, oh, well, it's not his last man, and yeah, maybe I'm be hamming it up a little bit, but I think this was so important that Cav was able to stay from fifth position where Louis Leon had moved him into at 2.3 k's to go through the chicane, apex. Thomas closes off that side, goes to the other side, apex there, keeping Cav fifth wheel for a kilometer, that allowed Cav to save his legs to stay fresh for the actual final sprint as they get onto the pave. Because yes, Luis Leon ain't going to be able to do anything at all after G pulls off. But Cav hasn't had to fight Milan, Pasqualon, Kirsch, Ackerman, all these guys to just hold his position in the last two minutes which we're in of this sprint going under the Flamme Rouge. And so when G pulls off here, he's fifth wheel. But he's not had to spend nearly as much energy as he did in the Tour, as he did in all the other Giro sprints, or many of them, in that phase of the sprint. And so when he gets washed over by Kirsch, or Stewart comes up the left with FDJ, and Gaviria is trying to get, I think, onto Kanter's wheel, who maybe that's who is leading out Cavendish, and Kirsch bumps him off, he's happy to lose a few positions, because it's okay being seventh wheel with fresh legs at this point in the sprint, particularly with a, a difficult Pave sprint. And there's one man he wants, and this is always what I find interesting in sprints is how few riders identify who is the man to go with, and Cav knows who you want to be on. It's the Maglia Ciclamino, Jonathan Milan, the best lead-out man in the world. Sometimes he even wins uh, when he does his lead-out. Cav wants his wheel because he's going to jump early. He jumps early in every single sprint. He provides you with 
impeccable draft because he's a monster unit who sits really upright. See, Cav? No, no, no. My wheel. He was chilling before. He was letting guys take wheels in front of him. He was not really stressed when G pulled off. But then Milan's wheel, when Milan starts to move, that's the wheel he wants. And he gets himself glued onto his wheel at 700 meters to go. It's the perfect wheel to be on. Sam Bennett with the Van Poppel lead out in other races has been a really good wheel to be on and others have fought for that wheel. When Milan is sprinting, like in Guangxi, for example, recently, and like in the Giro, he's the wheel to be on. But Gaviria launches early. Cav switches onto his wheel. And yes, he's probably winning from position anyway because he's held fifth wheel pretty comfortably compared to the other guys who've had to move up. He gets onto Gaviria's wheel. He gives him the lead out. Him and Milan jumping way too early. And it's Kirsch and Fiorelli second. And I mean, look at Mil Milan's decision here is really strange, right? He's got to jump onto Gaviria's wheel, and he can. He can close off Cav. You'll see Philipson in every tour sprint, or half of them, he did that. And you get away with that, and that's the right thing to do. He jumps to the left side. Really strange. Uh, I have no idea why he didn't jump on Gaviria's wheel. Didn't have the legs anyway, but when you look at Cav here, he's putting bike lengths on people. Uh, getting into. I know he gets a slingshot into Gaviria's draft, but... He puts bike lengths on everybody else. And of course, you know, who's here? It's the end of a Grand Tour. But yes, it's the end of a Grand Tour. And he had those fresh legs. I was really surprised to see it. But also, it was exciting to see. We had a lot of different winners in the in the Jira. And that's why it was, I guess, so sad to see him crash out of the Tour. Because he just had second in that stage where he had the mechanical issue in the Tour de France. And maybe just one needs to go right. I mean, Jordi Mayus won on Champs-Élysées. He's a better sprinter Cavendish than Jordi Mayus. I think that's why Astana, you know, this was their biggest win of the year. That's why they were happy to extend him, and that's why Cav was happy to come back. And now they've signed Max Cantor and other guys to be a lead-out around him. You've got to give a lot of credit to Grant Thomas. Didn't have to do it, but I think that lead-out from him while second on GC really made a big, big difference and was the difference for Cav between the other Giro sprints where he won head of Kish and Fiorelli, Dainese, fourth Krieger fifth here's what Cav had to say after the stage your very last stage of the Giro d'Italia and it's your first win of the year how exceptional is that I'm oh, very happy it's, you've always got to put a, like a negative little thing on every question don't you like a little pessimistic thing that's my first win I'm super happy like well it was a long hard slog to get you to the end of the Giro but uh you know we felt close a couple of times before and uh my boys did incredible, and uh, my friends did incredible. Are you <laughs> and, talking uh, about uh, Geraint Thomas? Yeah, we just had some great friends today, you know, long-time friends, and uh, well, pretty emotional to be fair. But comment down below: Was it the right thing for Astana to extend for Cavendish co to continue? Uh, he was in the British National Champs jersey here. Will he win that final record-breaking Tour de France stage win next year? Maybe. If he brings a level of 2023, I definitely think it's possible. Until the next video, ciao.